It's a joke. This whole phone system is a joke. It is not a joke. You know, people can now have conference calling, voicemail, direct long-distance dialing. I have finally given our guests something I've always wanted them to have. Third page to their bill. <laughs> you just wanted a new phone system for the hotel because the sand dune got one. What's wrong with that? Nothing, except that they actually got a new one that came out of a box, not a second-hand one from the county mental institution. It's perfectly fine. You know, one guy there had 17 different personalities. Not one of them ever missed a call. Amazing. Yeah, I'm telling you, it's a great system. No, I meant that he's locked up and you're walking around free. Look, this is perfectly fine. Once state-of-the-art, pre-owned telephone system brings our hotel to a new level. Yes, low. <laughs> Mock me if you will, but now at the touch of a button, our guests can have any department they need. Valet, concierge, porter. Roy, we don't have any of those departments. We do now. Valet, hold please. Parking, hold please. Porter, hold please. Uh, yes, hold please. Uh, one second, hold please. Uh, hold, on. hold, hold. Not a phrase you hear a lot from a virgin, but okay. <laughs> Where's your uniform? Oh, I don't wear it to work. You know, I do have a life outside this place. Royo, get in here. Can you get me one? <sighs> yes, my delicate flower. We got... You're not my delicate flower. Am I any flower? <laughs> This thing is driving us crazy. We can't figure out how to set up a wake-up call. Probably not a big priority in the mental institution. But... It's very simple. You just push the button that says shock therapy. <laughs> we'll relabel it. That one right there. I tried that. It didn't work. Oh, um, maybe it's this one. Or maybe it's this one. This, no, or wait, this no, one. Come on. Or this one. Connie, stop. You're going to break it. Stop it. Good. Honey, where's my black shirt? I didn't bring it. I packed the brown one instead. Oh, the brown one? The brown one makes me look like a pine cone. <laughs> Is that a room? Damn it. I forgot my diaphragm. Oh, this is going to be a really fun weekend. <laughs> what do you mean $300 is too much for a beanie baby? Oh, my, oh my God. God. <laughs> do you believe that? No, oh, that's crazy price for beanie baby. <laughs> Not the beanie baby. The fact that we can listen to the rooms. This is almost too good to be true. Oh, Kenny. <laughs> oh, Gail. Oh. What are you doing? What am I doing? What are you doing? What Gail doing? <laughs> I'm just engaging in some harmless eavesdropping. Oh, harm yeah, you're right. Harmless eavesdropping. It's like you're, you're harmless gossiping and you're harmless teasing. Everything's always harmless with you, isn't it? It won't be if you touch that button again. <laughs> What'd I do? Nothing, but I can't very well hit her, can I? <laughs> Get back to work. Uh, excuse me, I hate to interrupt your smut surfing, but it seems like we have some guests. <laughs> Can I help you? It would be my good fortune and fate to have a woman as beautiful as you help me. Well, thank you, Mr. Valdez, but please call me Emilio. Connie. Oh, I can't remember the last time I had my hand kissed. <laughs> I do it for you, darling, but I'm usually too busy kissing your... Here's your reservation, Mr. Valdez, right here. You know what? I'll take it from here, Gumdrop. Maybe there's an exorcism in 209 you want to listen in on. <laughs> Yes. Oh, yes, Mr. and Mrs. Valdez. You're in uh, 203 up the stairs, down the hall, right on your right, and I'll have your bags brought up. Thank you, and uh, thank you. My pleasure. No, 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 no. The pleasure is all mine. Vieja, vamos para arriba, eh? So charming. I love Latin men. Yeah, well, I love Latin music. I don't lick the CDs. Royal, you're jealous. Jealous? Marry him, sleep with him, tune his guitar. What do I care? 
It was just harmless flirting. Well, there you are again with the harmless. You know, there's no such thing as harmless flirting. It sends out a message. It doesn't send out a message. It makes you feel sexy. Mm. And sexy is good for a marriage. Good. End of story. You think that's the end of the story? You think that's the end of the story? It's so easy for you to end a story, isn't it? <laughs> Mo, would you get up here? I got some bags for 203. Hi, sorry. This is ballet. Please call back for bellboy. You are the bellboy. Get out here. No, please call back for bellboy. <laughs> you are the bellboy. Now get up here. No, no, no. This is ballet. Please call back for bellboy. <laughs> Hello, ballet. Mo, what happens when Mr. Payne gets very angry? That's right. Now, would you do me a favor and tell the bellboy I've got some bags to take upstairs? I heard you want to see me. Mrs. Payne, you are looking lovely this afternoon. Why, thank you, Amelia. And your hair is such a magnificent red. Would your wife like a bottle? She's got a whole case. Forgive my husband. He places no value on his own life. <laughs> if you see my wife, please tell her I've gone outside to smoke a cigar. There's plenty of shade over by the propane tank. <laughs> what has gotten into you? just flirting. Oh, right, yeah, yeah, I know, again, harmless, harmless, harmless. You know, so I want to tell you something. You don't see me flirting. Well, that's because, Royal, let's face it, honey, you're not very good at it. Oh, what? I have never seen you flirt with anyone, not even me. Well, I didn't have to remember. You were easy. <laughs> I prefer to remember it as charitable. <laughs> Women couldn't resist me in those days, you know. <laughs> I was a very dangerous man. <laughs> Are dangerous. I'm gonna choke to death. <laughs> no. All right. You know what? We're gonna see how harmless it is when I flirt with someone. Ah, uh, Mrs. Valdez, your husband said he'd be back in a few minutes. Oh, happy day. So good now, does it? Oh, it's Mr. Dangerous. Very funny. I'm sorry, I shouldn't make fun. I can see you're still a little blue. Uh, it... Are you still at this? Mm -hmm. Oh, and I just canceled HBO, by the way. I'm terrible, you know that. I mean, you may have no morals, but I've got work to do. Nice cold mimosa. Ooh, that does sound nice. Boring. Wait a minute. What? Oh my God, this is amazing. How did I miss this? I know. Sit down. I'll pour you a glass. <laughs> no, no, not that. I can listen. I can know what they want and give it to them before they ask. Nobody can do that. Not even the sand dune. Wait a minute. It's one thing to listen, but if you act on it, they're going to find out. Yeah, what they'll find out is that I am the greatest hotelier in the world. You're insane. That's <sighs> the day I married you, baby. <laughs> just talking about mimosas. No! You know what? I must have picked up on some sort of mimosa vibe or something. You're amazing. Well, thank you. That's very kind of you to say. You know, most people aren't sensitive enough to pick that up. <laughs> Is it a little chilly in here? I wonder if we need an extra blanket. 211, go. I hate this. I don't care. Oh, give it to me. Oh, give it to me. Oh, God, please. Oh, oh. 212, I go. Uh, no. Oh, no, I forgot.
forgot to bring shampoo. 302, go. I check on 212? No. <laughs> 302, I go. Come on, Emilio. Why don't we do something romantic tonight? We have pay-per-view. There's a fight on. <laughs> Still helping the guests? Yeah. Let's do something together. Por favor, let me watch the fight in peace. It's your boyfriend. And your girlfriend. Hey, she's not my girlfriend. Please. Well, maybe you're a little rusty. Maybe Mr. Dangerous needs a tune-up. <laughs> oh, fine. You know, I think she was a little put off because you came on too strong. My advice? Don't pull out your pen on the first date. <laughs> like an emotional kidney stone. You used to pay attention to me. You used to pick flowers and write me poems. Oh, remember the one you wrote about my eyes? And just once, couldn't you, I, I don't know, squeeze me orange juice the way you used to or anything, anything. Emilio? <laughs> <laughs> Sleep well, Emilio. For in the morning, your wife is going to experience the pleasure of pain. Watch and learn. Remember, you're almost out of shirts. <laughs> morning, Mrs. Valdez. More coffee. Oh, thank you. <clears throat> I am um, a little embarrassed about that ink incident yesterday. Oh, we've all emptied a pen in our mouths at one time or another. How kind. Uh, What's the matter? I, I just picked these this morning, and one's already wilted. You picked these? Oh, yes, I love the beauty of nature. Oh, oh my. What? Nothing, I just... I have never seen anyone with the eyes, the color of morning glories, gently awakened from their dewy bed. <laughs> so glad they're not dead, dewy bed. Oh, please, you are making me blush. <laughs> and it is a lovely shade of rose. Oh. Is there anything else I can get you um, in the way of um, juice, perhaps? Well? Uh, some orange juice would be perfect. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> I was just uh, about to whip some fresh cream for Mrs. Valdez's strawberries. Have you seen the whisk? No, but if I do, I know where I'd like to put it. What's wrong, sweetness? You are really enjoying this, aren't you? Enjoying what? It's just a little harmless cream whipping for a guest in need of a berry topping. <laughs> All right, Royal, I admit it. Flirting is not harmless. It feels bad. Oh, so you were wrong and I was <gasps> right. Yes. I'm sorry, my mind drifted there, darling. What was that? Yes. Yeah, yes, well, you know, but it's been so long, I forgot the question. You were right and I was wrong. Thank you. I know that was very difficult for you, but for me, it was satisfying beyond belief. <laughs> Now, would you just do a little something for me? Oh, I don't see why not. No more flirting with the Valdezes for either of us. <sighs> I can deny you nothing very well. Good. Because if you don't, it won't be the small whisk. <laughs> What is it with this window? I know, I can't get open. <coughs> open? We're trying to close it. We are? Well, guess. <laughs> there we go. Oh, Mr. Payne, I thought I heard you. Hello. Hello, I was trying to call you, but no one picked up. Oh, uh, well, Mo, you better get back to the communication center. 
The closet? It's... Well, I was wondering if you could help me with my thermostat in my room. Oh, yes, yeah, certainly. Uh, you know you know what? Although it may not be your thermostat, I've noticed that most of this floor is kind of warm today. Yes, well, I have a confession to make. I didn't really ask you in for that. Oh, um, you didn't? No, I have been thinking about you. Well, I'm very flattered. <laughs> no, I am the one who is flattered. My husband hasn't looked at me the way you did this morning, and I don't know how long. <laughs> Flirting with a beautiful woman like you is as natural as overcharging on a holiday. But that's really all it was, just harmless flirting with a beautiful woman. No, I don't think so. Ah, you don't? No, there is no such thing as harmless flirting. Uh, um, um... <laughs> Mrs. Valdez. Alejandra. Um, Alejandra. Um, you're a very attractive woman, but I, I, I would never cheat on my wife. As a matter of fact, if she could hear me right now, <laughs> she'd laugh. Mm -hmm. how, how funny it is to think that I would ever, ever cheat on her. <laughs> Lovely. Face it, Royal. You are not happy with your relationship, or you wouldn't have come on to me. And I am not happy with mine. I think that we ought to do something a little crazy. I, I think we already are. I can I... see the passion in your eyes. No, oh, you know what? Actually, that's a broken blood vessel from a violent cough. <laughs> I'm just gonna... No, why I don't could... you lay down on my dewy bed? Dewy bed. No, no, listen, uh, Mrs. Valdez, uh, Alejandra, you know, <laughs> I have a wife, and you have... Something to sing about. Oh, oh my God! Put those away! Um, oh, uh, God. I'm so glad you're here. What the hell is going on? I know it doesn't look too good, but at least we're not flirting. <laughs> now, you see, because when I make a deal... I heard I... exactly what's going on, so you're not happy with your relationship. How did you hear? Uh, uh... Not important. No, no, she said that. Did you hear what I said right before that? That said, there's no way in the world I could ever cheat on my wife. Did, 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 were you listening? How could she be listening? I, uh, listen, I can't. Oh, my God, these rooms are bugged. No, uh, uh. What's going on here? These rooms are bugged, and this man tried to make love to me. Oh, uh, I, what? The rooms are bugged? <laughs> No, wait, no, let, no. For the last time, these rooms are not bugged. Mo, start the car. You are not out of trouble. Oh, really? I thought everything was back to normal. <laughs> what kind of sicko bugs a room in a hotel? We should call the police. That's right. Hey, come on out. What's going on? Well, the rooms it's are bugged. It's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. Come on. The rooms are bugged. Somehow, through the phone or something, they've been listening to us. They heard everything, every single word. Oh, come on, man. Where, Mrs. Payne, come on, Mr. Payne. This is unbelievable. How can you do this? Well, listen, listen, if you just let me explain, I can explain everything. We're contacting the Better Business Bureau. No, there's no need to No, we should call the police. Don't overreact. Well, you know what? We want our money back. What? That's it. I want quiet. I want it now. All right, yes. I listen to you through the phone system. I listen to you whine and complain. I listen to you clip your toenails and belch, carry on about your stupid beanie babies. It was harmless. Harmless. Harmless? Oh, go on, Royal. All right, so there it is. I listen. And why? So I could give you the best hotel experience of your life. <laughs> Do you know how hard it is to do what I do? No! How could you? You have no idea? Well, it's hard. And all I wanted was a little edge, a little something extra to meet your needs. I did it for you. And how do you pay me back? With misery and scorn? Get out. I want you in my hotel. Go, go stay at the sand dunes. Try to get a reservation. Yeah. There you go. That's it. Oh, oh! I want everybody out of my hotel now. Get out. Get out. Get out. Go. I mean, go. 
Get out there! Fine, we'll go. We? Come on, Connie. I'm not going anywhere with you. Didn't you hear the speech? I leave alone. I look like an idiot. All right. That's right. We're out of here. <laughs> Let's see how easy it is for you to run a hotel. I'm only working here to put myself through school. <laughs> What are we doing? Making a point. About what? I don't know. <laughs> what about them? To hell with them. Connie Payne, you hear me and you hear me good. I would never cheat on you. Did you want to sleep with her? Absolutely not. Did you want to sleep with him? For Pete's sake. <laughs>